Today's guest is the co-founder and chairwoman of The Handle Group, an international corporate consulting and life coaching company that has been used in over 35 universities and institutes of education around the world, including MIT, Stanford, NYU, and the New York City Public School System. She is also the creator of the online coaching course that has been used by dozens of celebrities, entrepreneurs, and CEOs called Inner You, Learn to Human Better. She is the author of Maybe It's You <laughs> and has been a featured expert in the New York Times, Forbes, Dr. Oz, Marie Claire, Women's Health, the list goes on and on. And she's a regular contributor to Business Week and the Huffington Post. And I am so honored to have her here today, Lauren Zander. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's Obviously, fine. something you're doing is working because sure. the list goes on and on, like the celebrities, the high profile um, CEOs. I mean, it's just like, it's really incredible, mm. you know? And it's so fascinating to me that these people need coaches. <laughs> right, right, right. That's the most fascinating right. part. You know, maybe that's the secret. Maybe I'm missing out here. Well, there's two types, right? There's the person who wants to, over, like my joke is Overachievers Anonymous. Mm. Like, oh yes, I'm running Overachievers Anonymous, right? That makes sense. And then the majority of what happens with those people is two things. Um, they can't feel their success. They can't, like nothing's enough. <sighs> Ever. Like I there can is to that. I, I, Overachievers <laughs> Anonymous. Hi, very popular in LA. Uh, okay, so can't feel it no matter how much you've done. Mm. And so teaching a person to actually experience themselves and appreciate themselves versus that it's always on the come. What can I get? Now? Like nothing's enough. So I help that dramatically change. Mm -hmm. And then there are people, and even those people, because they're in a cycle of overachievers, right. um, they don't actually dream mm. like in ways that if they knew who they were, they'd really have a vision. Mm. So there's a limiting factor on two folds with overachievers. Wow. They don't feel it. And then their dreams aren't even big enough. Ha! Huh, which is hard to say to someone like my client list. Yes. But <laughs> it is true and they know it. <laughs> yes. So where did this all start for you? Because you've been 20 years you've Over been 10 a years. life coach. When I hear the list of all my achievements, you want to hear how yeah. inside <laughs> you're my like, inner uh, voice, my inner voice is like, oh, you're old. I shortened your list, by right? the way. Just so you know, yeah. I, what do I hear? I hear 50. I'm 50 and I've been doing the same freaking thing every day oh, well, since I was uh, 27, 28. Like I started the company, like I started like one person at a time. Right. But where did that come from? Like, even when you were like younger, like, did you always see that you were kind of like seeing how people maybe what they're missing or how they get unstuck? You, you use the word unstuck a lot. I've uh, I do. Um, so I would say that I am like was born a big mouth, little can we curse? Yeah. Shit. I was a little shit. So you you'd shut shit. it like it was. I, was. I was a big math little shit who yeah. lied and got away with oh. all my life. Like, I was one of the most gifted liars <laughs> and could get away with anything. I mean, like, stealing car, my oh, parents' wow. cars, not other okay. people's cars. <laughs> but, like, I was literally driving at 15, 16. Like, I never got caught. I never, like, by the time I, so I was a crazy little pioneer who was on the wrong side of the tracks. Got it. With being. Right. And, um, but had power mm -hmm. and could, you know, was the captain of this team. I, I like whatever I loved, I could do, get an A at. Mm -hmm. And most things I didn't love. Right. <laughs> right. Glad I stopped loving drugs as much as I did. Glad I stopped loving cheating on every boyfriend I had as much as I did. Right. Like I grew up the hard way of learning. I got away with everything. Okay. And so at some point, I just didn't understand why humanity was so screwed. Mm. Right. Like why even my parents didn't know how to communicate in a moment that I watched my dad hurt my mother's feelings, like from the smallest thing 
to my my mother never building a career for herself when she really had the time like like stop like the way humans will not love their lives mm. or think that anything's possible as cliche as all that sounds i was like what the fuck <laughs> is wrong like i may be bad but i can get anything i want yeah. like what's up with humanity yeah and so that began what I would say, my endeavor to see if I could actually wake humans up to who they really are yeah. and what's really possible for all of us and whatever you're into. I don't care what yeah. you're into. I care that you get what you're into. Yeah, I love that. And it seems like that's the umbrella. I mean, your range of, of your clients go from everything to health, to relationships, to everything. And I love that it sounds like a lot of it comes from life experience. Like you didn't have the easiest life and you did almost go on the wrong easy. side. It was pretty and, easy. And you know, it sounds like you were able to see a lot of different things so that you knew what was maybe the right way to go. Uh, so what happened was I didn't think people were thinking mm. or designing or, or even were anywhere all through high school, no one asked the right questions mm -hmm. to me. No one was helping my life. No one was teaching me about sex. No one was teaching me about two drinks is actually better than four <laughs> and why, right? Like as dumb, like there yeah. was no life. Real and life. everyone was lying. Like everyone was lying. Don't do that. Oh, you do that, but I shouldn't do that, yeah. right? Like the whole place was, a, was what I called a farce. And so as I wanted to see if I could get you the love of your life or get you a career you really wanted or why are you still not talking to your father? Like, mm -hmm. poor guy was in Vietnam. Like, really, we're gonna hate him forever? Like, what is up with us? We want the world to be a whole better place, but we won't clean up our own backyard. Yeah, that's where it starts, right? And so I started one by one on how do I get you to change? Right. And I literally when I was 28 years old, people started throwing me money like to sit with me wow. and I would just manage them. Try this, try this, try this, try this. Mm -hmm. Right. And then over enough time, I wanted to see if I could teach someone else what I knew or was I some weird unicorn who had magic in her. <laughs> and so then I, I trained my first coach, like from being an unhappy lawyer into turning into a coach. Um, and, you know, she's Mel Robbins, right, <laughs> who had a TV show, right? Like, so I started, like, can I teach someone something and can I help, like, so it all was experimental. Right. But, you know, 25 years later, <laughs> experimental is now proof. Uh, and then I developed, I worked at MIT mm. for, honestly, 10 years, right, of developing how do I teach it from in front of the room where I don't have to, where I can have a TA read the homework and I can make literal changes in a person's life without having to hold them. Right, that's very and so, impressive, yeah. And so that, so I really just wanted to see how to change a human. And what I really discovered is it lives in language. Like if you don't have the word and if you don't have a, a framework, you can't teach algebra. Like algebra exists, everyone can use it, and it works. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, there isn't that for how to design your own life and, and really be true to yourself. Not even close. Should be a course in school. I, I learned that. <laughs> Good, because my son, my son I'm was just it. talking I'm, about this. I'm like, I'm so, I, if you're like, where do I give it all away? Every, yeah. you, when you hear my education division, and we're, we've been in over 50 universities. It's like, it's been growing and growing. You're like, how much money do you get from that, Lauren? Yeah. And I'm like, you mean my charity? <laughs> where I pay? to make that happen. Uh, so backwards. Right, yeah. like, yeah. and I will to the yeah. day I die, yeah. right? I even, I even anyone who's a teacher, my I give you my classes for free. Like, I'll, I press and, and education, yeah. come. Because yeah. the smarter that Smart. language is, the yeah. more you think, the more everything, every word down will help humanity. Right. What do you feel like the common thread is that everybody has. Liars. <laughs> Everybody's a liar. Oh. Is like, it intentional though? Do some people tell themselves stories and then they just believe it or li like, lying? Just I lying. Oh, I look at you, my inner dialogue says, you look exhausted. This is not true. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
And then you're like, hi, you look great. Yeah, 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 so yeah. For, like I have a list of the uh, seven different ways we lie to make other people feel good. We even think lying uh, is noble. Yeah. And and a way to honor someone else. I wouldn't want to tell them that. I don't want to tell my husband that didn't feel good. Like from the smallest to your mut like we lie. Yeah. And our true selves, like our real voice, is literally not allowed to exist. Just it's dark, it's mean, it's like the truth is corrupt and lying is considered noble. Obviously, I went to the movies, but you really went out with your boyfriend, right? Like yeah. you lied. Yeah, Everyone yeah. knows a bad lie is a bad lie. Yeah. But pe I literally spent four hours with a client yesterday and he, his fabulous CEO, love life, disaster. Mm. Okay, no problem. Yeah. That's not cool, right? Right age, it's all good. But to get him to understand his karma and that if he doesn't go back and clean up everything he did, mm. and he did a lot of shit, <laughs> it doesn't even dawn on him to clean any of it up mm. as why he's so cold and disconnected and hasn't felt love since he cheated on who? Mm. No, right? So if I punched you and then never apologized, does that really not go anywhere? Right. And the amount of damage people, like people won't even ask their father why they got divorced because he should tell me it's not on my business, but you're on your, like it, the amount people will not talk, ask or tell, and I can put it all back to lying. That's interesting. I think a lot of people, first of all, are try avoiding pain. So, uh -huh. And then the other one is, what's interesting to me is I feel like I'm a very blunt person. I'm from uh -huh. Chicago and uh -huh. we kind of t say things like they are, uh -huh. but other people find it very, you know, invasive and can be kind of hurt by it, by my truth sometimes. So how do you go around that by honoring your truth, but not, you know, offending people? Uh, the truth is not designed to be like the truth, if you don't pay your bill, they're gonna put you on a list, right? Like, <laughs> like if you run, if you drive too fast, they're gonna give you a ticket, yeah. right? If you cheat, you're not gonna feel, right? Like, I'm sorry, the world is not a very nice place yeah. and the truth is, is actually can hurt. Yeah. Um, if, if game is only supposed to be keep everybody fake happy, Yeah, then we would be winning every award yeah. on earth. Yeah, that's true. Right, lying is, right, my joke, it's a bad joke. It's okay. It's a bad <laughs> joke. What do you think's gonna come first, world peace or the end of lying? Oh gosh. You know wow. what I think, world peace that's has better odds. So do you, <laughs> do you see with your high profile clients that they have some of the same issues than like a regular person? It's the People Magazine part. They drink coffee too. You yeah. know that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It, no, it, the line is from a movie. No matter where you go, there you are. I don't know that movie. It's Buckaroo Bonds. I know. Oh, okay, okay. It's, I, yeah, it's, yeah, how you know I'm 50. I think my boyfriend made me watch that one. <laughs> Buckaroo Bonds. Tell Bonsai. him. Yeah. <laughs> I was tuning out though. I don't. I it's a that very. Much. It's anyway. Yeah. No matter where you go, there you are. Got it. And so I know, honest to God, I know a, a billionaire. Mm -hmm who checks his phone bill right. for AT&T cheating him. Right. And he enjoys hunting for $3. Got it, yeah. As if he, every month that was worth his time. <laughs> yeah. and, and I, like, and so it, and so then he doesn't trust people and he doesn't trust everyone and he doesn't, like, like so no matter where he goes, he, whether he has the most money in the world or $20,000 to someone else, it's the same reality that he's scared someone's coming for his money. Yeah. And so I actually think that's genius because even the billionaire can feel like someone's yeah. stealing from him. Yeah. And I always think it's reassuring like when people realize, um, you know, I live in LA and when I go home to Chicago, everyone's like, oh, you're around the celebrities and stuff. And I love telling people that like everyone's the same. Like I don't, I feel like people have this false idea that at some 
point in their life, they're not going to have any problems and everything is going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Instead of realizing that, no, we just have to keep learning and becoming better students. And we're all evolving, no matter how successful we might look in the press or, mm. you know, if we feel like we have all the financial independence. It's not, there's always something I feel like that needs to be worked on, whether it's the health or mm. relationship or there's always something. I really like how I model it out. I break life out into 12 different areas. Mm. And every area has its own, like in my reality, you should have a dream for each of the 12 areas. And in those areas are fun and adventure, are community. It's like, it's not just your career, your body, and right. your, and right? Yeah. Like we put all our little eggs in three baskets and then overextend ourselves and wonder why our whole life isn't magic and beautiful. Mm. And so when you talk about your career, of course you want to, like you should have a dream, it's its own area, you want to achieve in that. Yeah. But what does that have to do with your community of friends, like your greatest right. friendships? Are you getting, right? So I make people think very expansively about their whole life versus, well, there's always some area. Oh, there's always some area. Right. There's 12 actually. There's really 13, wow. but we don't have to talk about that. And right this now. is the online course. The that... online course goes into how to have a vision, hear your own. Everything I'm breaking you into is your inner dialogue right. and how to hear yourself. I love that. And how to act like, I'm sorry, I wish you didn't need to know what you were saying to yourself, but it's the only access to hear what's really going on in there. Yeah. And most people can't even tell me what they've said to themselves all day because we we all play a little like, I don't want to know. Yeah. Right. It was mean. It's vicious. It doesn't yeah. even like my husband anymore. Right. It's like, <laughs> not that it's nice to me either. Right. You should hear what it says. Like uh, I read in your bio yes. about talking to yourself in the mirror yeah. with your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I teach people once they can hear their dark side, that's your jumping board. Like once you can hear what the hell it says in there, it's scary. It, right. <laughs> It's dog, right? Yeah. You're like, when do children learn to lie? The minute they figured out <sighs> they want another cookie and their mm. mommy said one. Mm. They're like, get another one. It's like we 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 want two cookies. We yeah. don't we don't want it on here, but we <laughs> want it in here. Right. So we, we're a natural dilemma, but you have to break into your inner dialogue. Yeah. So I do I make people have vision, which really gives you what it's all for, mm -hmm. like the vision. And then I make you go after your personality traits and understand your lineage from your parents and your history and what I call... Oh, it's like therapy. <laughs> it's well, it's a hack. It's like a hack. <laughs> but is it like a workbook? So you, it's a process that you go through and it's, it's yeah. Okay. okay. So you listen. It's I've been making it funny. I make jokes. Oh, I'm sure. I tell on I myself. So. By the time you're done listening to like 20 minute, 25 minute clips yeah. after 25 years of perfecting it, yes. you're laughing and you can't unhear it right <laughs> it's like once you you know this came from who you it always reminds you of that person so if you don't want to change right. run from me because mm -hmm. I'm good at this at this point right oh I get you laughing I get you to know what you're saying in there I get you to understand why we have behaviors we have, positive and negative, and what to do about your behaviors. And my joke is your epis, epigenetics. Mm. I teach you all about your epis. Nice. You don't just have your dad's blue eyes. You have his wandering blue eyes, yes. Yes. right? And so it's not just, you know, so traits yeah. are emotional traits too. So interesting. And so if your family had problems with money or never, like whatever drama happened in the past in your family, it's coming to a theater near you in some form or another. And the more you can plan and understand it, the more you can actually da, 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 like go for it versus it's, you know, why is my sister still like that? <laughs> really? It makes so much sense though. And, and I'll, and I'll you know, yes. be honest with you, we're not yeah. lying right now. It is something <laughs> that I innately want to avoid, which, but at the, just the whole process. <laughs> So yes. going through yes. family lineage and all that, mm -hmm. but feeling it would uh, just fe the thought of going through it and actually getting through it. I feel like it would feel so good and clear and almost like I'm getting rid of all that 
shit that I might be carrying from my family and the way I was raised and, and you but know. There's no might. Absolutely. There's a reaction. Yeah. The same as or some variation of it. Mm. When you, when you stop avoiding it and you get, that's the design, like whether we, whether we remember we signed up for this gig on earth or not, or signed up for those parents or not, or this scene or not, mm. pretend you did and start to want to know all the feature, all the building blocks, because as you mm. get all that in front of you, um, you're doing the work for your children. Mm. Not a little, yeah, but like, actually, I'm doing this. <laughs> you, I'm sold. <laughs> I, just so you know, I will happily do it for you. I'm so you, I, I will do it with you. I will. I, I will take it. you through it. Oh, good. Right. Yeah. For real. Yeah. No. Because because it's, it's actually the other thing that's also true is however you're living today. That's actually the worst case scenario. Mm. I promise. I make it funnier, and and how to love what it is to be human, yes. not wish human didn't include smells, right? Because <laughs> we do, you know? Yeah. It's an entirely different flip of loving being alive. Yeah. And your parents that got us all the way to this moment. Big. Is there something that you can tell the audience now that they could use as a takeaway if they're feeling stuck in any area of their life? Sure. One of my favorite exercises that I like can do in 15 minutes or less with yeah. someone and rock their world is this. Okay. My joke is I teach the promised land. What's the promised land where you keep a promise to yourself, mm. not to everybody else, but one to yourself. There's always a human is always one promise away mm. from changing their whole life. It's not like I need to figure out all 30 of them. There's like, yeah, put down the sugar, honey. It will change everything. Get up at 6 a.m. It'll change everything. Like, fuck your husband. It'll change everything. <laughs> right? Like, I'm telling you, there's something, bet like, there's one promise mm. in time. Not the hardest one, not, but like the one who wishes they were a writer, the one who wishes they, anything. We're dating, mm -hmm. right? told the truth about one thing that they had, right? So there's, the, everyone is one promise away from changing everything wow. in a way. And it's literally like four weeks, one promise, do it, like whatever it is. And if, I don't care if you're smoking 20 cigarettes, go down to five mm. for a month and figure out how to take three drags and put it out for a little bit. Like, I don't care what it is, it's that you can change and the thing you don't think you can, if you even poke at it and play with it, you will discover like it will become addictive in the other direction. Okay? I love that. Okay. Now, there's one kicker with that, hmm. which must be included. Right. Which is, I believe in consequences. Okay. Okay. Consequences are not punishments. They're actually good for you. So, when I, for example... I wanted to see what six weeks of meditating twice a day would be, would like do for me, right? I'm a jerk. I don't like keeping any promises. <laughs> I don't. I don't at all. Ready? No coffee till I meditated. No screen time at night till I meditated. Guess who meditated twice a day for six weeks straight? Wow. Me. <laughs> and Lauren, did you tell anyone that? Yes, I told my children. I told everyone in my house who are up mommy's butt if she breaks a promise. Yeah. Right? So I did it. And I, I need a promise that pushes me and a consequence. Mm. Another example of a good consequence for me is if I, have to pay an, if I have to pay a kid money. One of my kids' money. Oh, okay. <laughs> right? Like if I have to, if I don't, if I don't keep, and as stupid as this is, if I don't keep my bedtime. Yeah. Like, I want to be in bed by 1130. I'll have a much better life. Yeah. Do I have potential to go to bed at 1230? How many people are with me? Right? Like, hit Netflix one more time. Right? <laughs> no. So if I'm not in bed and I don't go to sleep at the right time, my little 11-year-old could get 20 bucks. Wow. Guess who checks with me every day? <laughs> right? So I don't screw with her. I don't screw with me. And I keep my promise. So a promise that is not likely to be kept 
needs a consequence with a kid or your best friend in time. Don't make it for 10 years. Yeah. Make it for a little period of time and see what happens. I like that. Okay. I like the simplicity too of choosing one thing and committing to it for, for a long period of time. That's how you, um, there's a muscle of building self-love and self-respect. Mm. And self-love and self-respect only happen if you're doing the shit you wish you would do that you're not doing. Mm. Sorry, yeah. I wish it was a nicer formula, but it's not. I think everyone likes to overcomplicate and just, you know, oh, I have to do everything all at once, and then you do, end up not doing anything. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly, like, <laughs> something's wrong with me. Like, people are happy to think something's wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's wrong with you. Nothing's wrong. We're all going through it. We're all learning. We're all listening too close to the voice in our heads and we don't know how to decode, decipher. We have like the worst radio station on potentially. Mm. So I want to ask you, yes. I ask all my guests yes. and this, you know, whatever comes to the top of your mind. Sure. What is your golden secret? I don't lie. Oh, I love that. I don't lie. I stopped Bam. that guy and I cleaned up every, and I was a bad Person. So you and went I, the other way. I cleaned up every, <laughs> like, I, I'm notorious, yeah. right? And I, I love that. Yeah, the, the joke is I'm, I'm AA on steroids. There you go. Right. I, I tell everything. And cl so that, and then my ability to hear people, see people, have empathy, hear a lie the minute, like I can hear one in two seconds, like. <laughs> Start <can> tweaking. <laughs> no, and, and I don't think I discovered something unique to me. Yeah. I think this is available to anyone okay. who's willing to care way more about what they really think and have to say, mm. but that is not very popular. I understand. I love that. So where can everybody find your course if they want to try Please. it? Please. Yes. Well, obviously it's not for everybody. Everyone's like, yeah. oh God. If you want to change. <laughs> if you mean it. <laughs> though, though, you know what we have discovered? Even if you just audit it, like, don't do any of the homework. You're just going to listen to the 10 modules mm. and just, like, podcast it to you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, the results are awesome. So there's goody two-shoes. You will get twice as much results. Right. Right? Yeah, it's really true. Yeah. And then there's, like, <laughs> I should do something. <laughs> Both work. Got it. And it's inner you, like, I inner, yeah. I and then your, yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> dot com, right? Inner you, and I'm Lauren Zander. Lauren Zander. And you, you all look, all roads lead to inner you. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming today. My, I can't my kind of fun. Oh, we're on it. <laughs> we're on we're it. We're on it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>